Hello everybody, welcome back to the Rock's Roost and let's play Starfield. This is a special episode where we look at skills. Look at skills. Um, guess we could start with combat. We have the pistol certification that came with our class. We could get shotgun. Unlocks, uh, we've unlocked this shotgun to do 10% more damage. Not sure we've found a shotgun yet. We have laser weapon. Dueling. Ballistics. Ballistic weapons do 10% more damage. Demolitions. Okay, so down here, to get anything here, we have to spend three more points up here. So we can rank this up, I guess. Considering the popularity of the personal sidearm in these settled systems, familiarity with such weapons is often considered essential. Probably so. Well, we have rank 1. Rank 2 gives us 25% more damage. Is that over rank 1 or over base? Okay, so we can't unlock this. We have to complete... The challenge. Ah, the challenge is 20 enemies with a pistol. Look under the patch. Challenge progress, 10 of 20. Kill 20 enemies with a pistol. So we can't upgrade that yet. Okay, let's go this way. In fact, let's just go all the way over here. And uh, So we need to focus on just the top row. So physical, we have boxing. Once considered a sport of kings. Boxing is still practiced as a recreational competitive activity. But its combat applications can't be denied. Unlock unarmed attacks do 25% more damage, 25% less O2 used. Excuse me, when using a power attack. Okay, fitness. In space, the greatest commodity is oxygen, and the increased lung capacity gained by a regular physical fitness regimen is essential to survival. Unlock, you get 10% more oxygen. That's probably not bad. Stealth. Adds a stealth meter. Okay, for a combatant who values discretion above all else, the ability to approach a target while undetected and kill with a silenced weapon is as terrifying as it is effective. This unlocks a stealth meter, and you are 25% more difficult to detect when sneaking. Suppressed weapons do an additional 5% sneak attack damage. Okay, so... I'm going to write down here that I'm interested in stealth. If I see something I want more, then I will change accordingly. Weightlifting. Weight training can significantly increase one's ability to carry weapons and equipment, both in space and on the ground. Okay, this gives us carry capacity. Not bad. Wellness. This is going to be a health upgrade, I guess, by embracing an active lifestyle and good nutrition habits. One may improve the overall sense of health and even gain prolonged life expectancy. Unlock, increase your maximum health by 10%. That's a maybe. Of course, the best thing to do is not to get hit. So, there's that. Uh, let's see. Social commerce. In the settled systems, free market economy, almost anyone with the right skill set can open and run a successful business. Unlock gets us a buy 5% less, sell for 10% more. That's a good one. Gastronomy. Access to brand new worlds means access to brand new ingredients. And there is almost no limit to the delicious foods and drinks a talented chef can prepare. Unlock, you can craft specialty food and drinks and research additional recipes at a research lab. Well, that sounds good, too. Persuasion, we have this. Succeed in three speech challenges. That would be our challenge to upgrade 10% increased chance of success when persuading someone. So uh, this uh, challenge, this is a way to sort of ensure that you actually use the skill before you can level it up. So that that's kind of... Makes sense, I guess. Uh, scavenging. There are those who can find just about anything, and their success is usually dependent on knowing how and where to look. 
Unlock, there's a chance you'll find extra credits when searching containers. If this is like Fallout, we're going to end up with zillions of dollars anyway, but we don't know it's going to be like that. We'll just have to figure it out as we go. Theft. While not entirely honorable and certainly not legal, it is nonetheless occasionally necessary to discreetly remove property from someone's person. Unlock the ability to pickpocket targets. I'm not big on that. Probably won't do that. Ballistics. Uh, okay, we read these. Well, it, they kind of do what they say, I'll say on the tin. I, mean, I guess I could read them. Ballistics. Centuries of conflict have proven that when it comes to threat elimination, few things stack up to the reliable power of high-speed projectiles. Ballistic weapons do 10% more damage. Dueling, considered by many to be a lost art, close attacks with a melee weapon can often be deadlier than ranged combat when carried out by a skilled practitioner. Unlock gives you melee weapons plus 25% damage, take 10% less damage while wielding a melee weapon. I always thought it might be fun to do a melee playthrough of, of a Fallout game, but I, I've never bothered doesn't seem in the spirit of this game, but we'll see. Personal laser systems are in widespread use across the settled systems, and specialized training can greatly increase their effectiveness. Unlock gives you 10% extra damage with laser weapons. Shotgun, the cornerstone of close quarters combat, the CQC, or CQC rather, the shotgun has proven a simple deadly weapon for hundreds of years. Unlock shotguns do 10% more damage. Science. Astrodynamics, advanced technology is one thing, but it takes skill, patience, and a little bit of love to coax even more capability out of a ship's grav drive. Unlock gives you increased grav jump range of jump drives by 15%. Geology, newly discovered minerals mined from alien planets and moons have directly led to some incredible technological advancements. Unlock gets you get more common and uncommon inorganic resources from surface objects. Medicine, only through advancements in medical training and technology has humanity been able to withstand the galaxy's many dangers. Unlock gives you med packs, trauma packs, and emergency kits restore 10% additional health 10% faster. Research methods by skillfully employing a new and time-tested methods, or both new and time-tested methods, a researcher may complete projects faster and even gain unexpected insights. Unlock resources required to craft items and complete research projects is reduced by 10%. Surveying, humanity now has access to untold animal world, animal, alien worlds even, and the ability to decipher all that data while on the ground has become an essential skill set. Unlock gives you, adds an optional zoom to the hand scanner, and scan distance is increased to 20 meters. We'll just go the opposite way on this tree. How about that? Targeting control systems. Missile weapons are favored because they can lock onto enemy ship, onto an enemy ship, but an intimate knowledge of tracking systems can make them even more effective. Unlocks ship targeting functionality. Security. While standardized digital locking mechanism is renowned for its security, any code can be broken with the proper training. With an unlock, you can attempt to hack advanced locks, and two auto attempts can be banked. The piloting, uh, this uh, allows you to utilize thrust ship thrusters. Okay. Boost pack training. Specialized training and innovations in personal mobility systems have allowed for unfettered exploration on alien worlds. Unlock, you can now utilize boost packs. Ballistic weapon systems, this must be for the ship. Uh, while there have been significant advances in shipborne weaponry, sometimes the simplest tool is the most effective. 
An unlock means that you get ballistic ship weapons with a 10% increased damage rating and cost 20% less to use in targeting mode. Well, I'll tell you, this one here, targeting control systems. I'm going to add this to the list. Targeting control systems. This would be tech. Targeting... CTRL systems. But I think I'm going to go for the stealth for now. There's a lot of things here I want. Uh, this is the one I want. Rank available. Unlock. Yeah. Okay, I think that's probably good. Because we do have a... Wait a minute. Yeah, I did this. Okay. We do have a stealthy um, weapon. Do we not? Suppressed Rattler, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's there. Like that. Okay, so uh, that, I think, has that done. So let's see. We That didn't take as long as I thought it, it would. So let's... Um, I was going to do this as just like a special episode, but that was only like 10 or 11 minutes. So let's check the computer. Let's just keep on rolling, shall we? Terramorph specimen Hayden Wynn, senior xenobiologist, Crete Research Facility, Project Log, August 15, 2310. Thanks to the UC Marines. Wait a minute. Have we read this? Mm, not sure. I'll just read it again. Uh, thanks to the UC Marines, we now have a piece, a second piece of the puzzle. A fully grown alpha predator. According to my research, a group of astrogeologists made first contact nearly 100 years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There's currently no record of how it got there, so it was sheer cosmic chance that the astrogeologists found it. Or rather, it found them. Scientists were quick to categorize it Osizio Machina, roughly killing machine. The UC Marines tasked with taking it down chose a simpler name, Terror Morph. I read the official record once of the eight-person squad only two of the grunts survived, and one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in Xeno Warfare. NCI fitting today, Hayden Wynn, August 20th, 2310. Today we fit the Terror Morph with the NCI. If our experience, when the grunts first dropped off the creature, is any indication, our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We better make it count. Are we going to have to fight this thing? Are we? Barkley the Basset Hound is visiting today, folks. Okay. Um, so, let's see. What were we doing? I was just playing this this morning. But uh, I've done many things. Oh, there he is. There's the man, the myth, the legend. I did not notice that before. Hayden Wynn. Yeah. Didn't make it, did you, bud? Such an exciting time to be in, what was it? Xenobiology. Yep, exciting. Hidden. Okay, that must be our new stealth meter. Okay. Oh, that just kind of opened. Uh, we checked that. No, this is what we, yeah, this is the thing that foiled us. I reloaded for this. Because I did not understand the way the pick thing worked, and I wasted a bunch. Okay. Okay, so we stick this in. That. Then this one, 
should go in this way. Yeah. Um. Oops. The other way, sir. It looks good, right? I, I think I understand it now. I think I understand it. There's more of that display technology I'm talking about. Like, those numbers on there, I, I don't think those are printed. I think that's like a display technology. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, take it. Okay. Still getting used to things, folks. Deep mining space helmet. Take it. And we're full again. Let's put stuff in the ammo case. Yeah, I know I carry too much crap. Wait. Do we need these microscopes? Probably not. Okay, that gets us back in. Mm -hmm. detecting a safe nearby. We could make oh, shit. Whatever is inside, provided you had <laughs> some digipics and a disregard for personal property rights. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, I'm confuzzled again. Well, I mean, here's the, here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, chicken wing. That goes there. That goes there, okay? Right. Like that. Am I understanding this? Todd Howard, please help me. Okay, this that's probably like that. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so we're doing that again. And then, um... Do we really need this? It's it's valuable, so yeah. Mondays, am I right? We don't want the boring coffee mugs. That one's neat. I like that one. I need one. For the iron team. Crimping tool. We don't need but so many of those. Uh, that's... I don't think we need... Those are the same, right? Did you pick? I still love that thing. I'm not sure how I feel about the... Lock picking mini game yet? I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Do I need 31 foam cups? Possibly. Possibly. Well, they're pretty light. I mean, what's the difference? Oh, this is a plain one. Ooh. We have one plain one and 31 that look like that. Where's the ones that have the, you know, like the. That's not very good for a cup art, is it? All these zillions. Do we really need this? I'm going to be upset if I drop these and I don't really need them. But I can drop them. I mean, that's a significant amount of weight right there. Uh, graduated cylinder. Not super valuable. I'll keep one. There's a different one.
such a pack rat. These are probably not... I don't know. Is it, it's trash. It's trash, right? But is there a recycling system in this? I'm not throwing that out, by God. These are all valuable. I mean, we're under the carry capacity now, so... We're, we're fine. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could Ooh, make I use see it. of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks. Where the hell are you? For personal property rights. Yeah, come on. Would you come on? Well, I have somewhat of a disregard for personal property rights. I mean, it depends on what it is. It's in the bag. Nothing. There are some things about this game engine that do remind me of the RE engine. Uh, just, you know, the way things are rendered, the lighting. I mean, that's a good thing. I love that. Detected. I'm guessing if it's green. Oh, shit. There is a critter here. These seem to be harmless, though. Oxygen tank. Hi. How's it going? There's a bunch of digi pigs here. Was this guy desperately trying to... Boom pot. Black licorice. I've got shotgun shells, but I, I've not found a shotgun yet, have I? Pardon me while I check. No. I'm sure that won't last long, though. We'll, we won't be shotgunless forever. Dr. Wynn, emergency slate number two. Well, you know, these things happen when you screw with nature. Now, when I open this safe, uh, is that going to be uh, a sequence trigger or something awful? I mean, that thing seems, you know, pretty harmless. Uh, Red Harvest Single Malt Whiskey. Okay, let's see if we can get this safe open. Okay. Um, that's a maybe. Okay, that works. Did I screw myself? No, I did not. We're good. That is kind of fun. Heart Plus. Improves fortitude and pain tolerance. 20% health for two minutes. 200 damage resistance for two minutes. Heart plus 10 mil. Oh, it's a shocker. Med pack. Okay, it's giving us healing items and stuff. Mm hmm. 
Alright, so I still need to deal with the captain. Ooh. Tape. And other stuff. Anything up here? No. All right, Mr. Heat Leech, are you going to show me the way? Vesco's just going to... Are you stuck? Captain Penelope, Protocol Indigo, Dick... Yeah, yeah. Get out of the corner, man. Well, Dr. Wynn, it's been real, man. We'll see you later. I wonder if that Heat Leech is going to lead me back to... Uh... Oh, I see a... Uh indicator thing there because I just kind of went the way you go I don't remember there being a branching path I'm betting this is here to as a subtle way to lead you in the correct direction which it appears to be doing you go do your own thing, sir. Stop looking at me. So, did we leave a pirate alive? We must have. Why was the reticule red there for a moment? This doesn't go anywhere. We've been, we've been here. Okay, just follow the blip. Saying it's above us. There's a camera. I wonder if I can shoot that out. Ammo is pretty precious right now, though. This is, uh, we've been in here. Yeah, we left a bunch of crap in that box. We did. We sure did. Excuse me. Would you please watch out? Okay, so. Lab one. Did we not go in here? We must not have, because there's toxin on the floor there. Floor? Table, even. More gross things. And I'm curbing my desire to pick everything up. Synergy! There's no I in Synergy. Is there nothing in here? Just a thing of toxin? What am I missing? Ah, we can open the scanner. Help us see things that we might could pick up. Nothing up there. Okay, just some toxin. I mean, this thing is valuable, but we're getting full. All right. Testing one. We didn't go in there either. Oh, it's locked. Huh. Is there a way to unlock that, maybe? Without digi picking. I don't really need that, do I? Is it like Subnautica? Am I going to need that? Oh. Take that, though. Hmm. Well, I don't see a computer here anywhere, so let's see. No, it's this. No. Capable of carrying additional supplies. Yeah, but you're. If necessary. Have you loaded with crap already, my man? Well, let's see if we can get this. 
That's a maybe. Maybe, but probably not. That's a maybe. That one, that one. Got it. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like that. Hope there's something good in here. Very shiny. Look at the gleam off of that. That's pretty cool. Watch that. Uh, okay, so what's in here that matters? Anything? I'm going to shut the door. Sometimes they hide stuff. Unpredictable. That's me. Desktop soil bowl. No, you don't need that. Resist. Resist, Rock. Resist. A computer. Yes. Sarcasm. Huh, huh, huh. Funny. Soil box. Oh, this was worth it. Cred stick. 186. This is uh, safe. Grenades and mines. Heck yeah, son. What does this say? Survival killing or survival response? Consult Mendelheim. Did we see that before? Reminder, survival. Yeah, it's, it's pretty important, right? Uh, yeah, so... Computer or... What you call it first? Computer, maybe, right? Dr. Wynn's Project Terminal. War. Hayden Wynn, senior xeno xenobiologist, Crete Research Facility Project Law, January 5th, 2308. We're at war. By establishing the colony of Vesta, the Freestar Collective have forced the UC's hand. The unmitigated gall. Thinking they could establish control over a fourth star system. Such a flagrant violation of the Treaty of Narion. Our diplomats tried to resolve this peacefully, but the council of governors wouldn't listen to reason. Apparently they claimed that Vesta was not a colony, but rather just an insignificant farming outpost. <laughs> nice try. By all accounts, the Red Devils and Stalkers worked in perfect union. And the results were everything we could have hoped for. No Red Devil or Starkle. Starkle? Stark. Stalker casualties. I was on a roll there, too. Anyway, Vesta's defenders were apparently taken by complete surprise, which greatly contributed to their fatality rate 93%. This is a great day for the Red Devils, a great day for the UC, and a great day for Xeno Warfare. Nope. No, it's not lost on me that this classified facility is actually located within Freestar Collective Space. So goes the great game. Well, we all know how it panned out, don't we? I love this desktop background. I'd like to have that on my actual computer. It's very cool. Uh, phase 2, April 5th, 2308. It's finally time. After a number of successful missions with the Red Devils and Stalkers have proven to be exactly the weapons we had hoped for. So it's time to expand our operations. MAST has finally approved the next stage of this facility's operations. Project Pet Shop pay, Phase 2 will now commence. Okay. <laughs> Stalker. Stalkers, April 18, 2308. <laughs> finally... Stop work on the stalkers. There are enough creatures in the field to serve the Red Devils who haven't been here to train in over a year. If they need more, we can easily gain some from the planet and fit them within CIs. But from this point on, our focus is phase two. Heat leeches, okay. Heat leeches, May 1, 2308. Throughout settled systems from civilized worlds to backwater bush towns, Pilots have had to deal with the nuisance known commonly as the heat leech. 
I had my own unpleasant experience four years ago at the New Atlantis spaceport. My transport was delayed while the deck crew removed a few of these filthy little things from the aft thrusters. They're attracted to heat, feed off up through some endothermic process, so thrusters are the perfect place for them to hide. They can take a full afterburner burst with no ill effects. No ill effects on the heat leeches, that is. A ship with an infestation can generally expect a 3 to 5% drop in thruster efficiency. Working with the heat leeches has been interesting, if not extremely satisfying. We have 11 of them in the lab, and by all accounts, they're completely innocuous, safe for their heat siphoning properties. But what if there was a way to weaponize them? Perhaps artificially enhance their heat siphoning to completely and instantly disable a ship? Or even better, to somehow reverse the process so that they transfer their own heat into a ship? Someday. Today, I fear we lack the means to do either. Well, you just never know, do you? Well, let us uh, try the safe. And see what's in there. We're getting a lot of digi-pickage down here. Okay, uh, with this careful analysis, we can determine the proper method for picking. This is not it. Let's try something like that. And if we do that and that... Oh, shit. I screwed up. Yeah. Okay. So this this is not going to work. Well, maybe. Okay. Say it's that. Okay. Well, we lost two digi picks. I'll just have to live with it. Uh, 419 credits. Synapse Alpha. Was it worth it? Probably. I mean, that seems like a lot of money, right? Plus, we got some uh, ammo. We got that. We got the ammo. Uh, plus, we got the Synapse Alpha. And some experience. Okay. Well, that's life. I'm not going to reload because, well, you know, I don't want to be but so cheap. I reloaded before because I failed, I completely failed to understand how the picking process worked and I wasted a tremendous amount of resources. Bottle. What's this? It's nothing. Now, I, I'm guessing there is one more. Pirate. And they must be through here. Because the blip is there. So forgive me while I just stumble around blindly. Oh, you scared me. So those things are pretty innocuous, unless they get in your thrusters. So I'm assuming that's something we're going to have to watch out for as we continue on. Yeah, I'm seeing a red red blip now. But wasn't this a... Oh, gosh, I feel stupid. Okay. Huh. How'd I miss that? Well, if we hadn't gone back, we wouldn't have got all that extra stuff, so. You know? There's another broom. Space broom. There's stuff here. Well, there's a lot of health, so I'm assuming there's going to be like a big mega battle.
Sounds great. Oh, there's a lot of crap in there. Your insistence on carrying so many things is reducing our travel speed. <laughs> uh, I know, I know, I know. But uh, so here's the deal. Here, here's the deal. Okay, I'm a, I know I'm a pack rat. It is not my primary function. Am I currently in possession of an item you require? Possibly. I'm sure you have a lot of junk that we don't need. I'm going to leave you with one of those. I'm going to leave you with one of those. I'm going to leave you with one of those. I'll leave you with one of those. Leave you with one of those. Leave you with one of those. Why are we carrying these? I'll take them and drop them. Um, leave you with one of those. That was actually kind of valuable. Microscope molecule extractor. Okay, my miscellaneous. Uh, we're going to go by weight. Give him those, those. Give him all of those. There's the cat. We're keeping the cat. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, I don't need all these damn succulents. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Oh my god, okay. Can we put stuff in here? The science crate. We're going to. We're going to. We're going to put... Uh, three Eggman desk assistants. We can keep that. Uh, the darts. That red light. I'm going to keep one of those. I'm such a damn fool. Uh, let's see. Coffee mug. We don't need... that. I don't like that. Mondays, am I right? Although it's still kind of funny. Uh, I like this spacey one better. Leave that. I don't really... I'm not like that, so I don't like that. Um, one of those... I don't need that. I'm not going to miss any of this shit. You know, I'm not. Empty Chunks packaging. Okay, why do I have that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> why do I have all this shit? I don't understand it. Oh my god, I don't understand why am I like this? It's crippling. Oh. <laughs> it's so crippling. It's so... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not as funny. <laughs> I mean, why the hell? Why the hell do I have that? <laughs> What am I going to do with that? It's sealed. I can't open it. <laughs> God. Oh, you got to stay clean. Wow, I don't need that. This is too funny. Uh, 43,000 different succulents. I, I don't like that one. Surgical bowl swamp container. Swabs. This is funny as hell. <laughs> I hope I'm not driving you crazy. <laughs> I desperately hope I'm not driving you crazy. Well, I have like a jillion weapons. You know, they're heavy.
Let's put one of these in. I know they're valuable. But, like... I I feel like we're going to get a lot of stuff like this. Right? Or am I wrong about it? Well, what is two... What weighs two kilos that I can just throw out? Wait. <laughs> what can I throw out? Yeah, I don't need that. Okay, there's there's one. I need one more kilo of crap. Uh, I don't like that one. One more thing. A little bit more stuff. That tape, I think, better do something. Uh, I like that one. I, I mean, I like them both. I just... This one has the little feelers on it. I don't know. Okay, just, 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 just. I don't need the bolt cutters, do I? Well, that shit's there. In a memorable place. Oh, man. I don't think there's any, like, sneaking here, is there? I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. Why? That's right, I killed Barrett, so tell your pirate friends to back off. Attack? Enough talk. I've got places to be. Or what's your problem with Barrett anyway? Yeah, let's ask. We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Well, I'm not necessarily wanting to tell him that I'm with Constellation. You know, that's really none of his damn business. He's a scummy pirate. Um, enough talk. I've got places to be. Screw it. Wait a minute. Sorry. Uh, I, I want. I need. I don't need the silenced weapon. Modified Maelstrom. I'm just running in, aren't I? Aha! Oh god, there's reinforcements coming in. Where, where, where? Where'd he go? Wait. What happened? Did did you kill him? Why well, didn't have it? I did. I said about that last time, now. Yeah, well, I wanted to loot the bodies. What do we got? Hackers, navigator, space helmet, digi picks. I mean, should we stay here and eliminate pirates? Why not? Why would I not want to do that? Other than, you know, I might die in the process. That's their ship. Fast travel to the ship. Press L, bit, L left button. Oh, yeah, hit him. Hey, hey. 
Who else wants to die, huh? I'm just, you know, I'm hell-bent on... Hmm. There's no easy way down, is there? I'm not really a, a shooter type player, can you tell? Uh huh. Okay. Well, there's one more, but he's up there. Do I really want to fast travel to the ship? I, I, I don't. Can I survive this? Probably not. Right? Quick save. I don't know. I don't think we can survive that. How'd they get down there? And why is it getting all linky-fied? What's happening? Why is there a red thing? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Sorry. I'm understanding the oxygen CO2 thing now. I have to wonder if I could jump over there. I'm going to save it. Huh. Huh. Hey, I made it. Was not designed to take impacts like that. Well, I understand. Is no longer a viable option. I get it. it. Takes a little while for the scrubbers to kick in, doesn't it? Look for the map icon of your ship. Press A over it. I would like to loot these bodies. What I would like to do. We need to kind of wait on the scrubber to catch up. We should scan this. Oh, we've already scanned it. Okay. Where are the bodies? Was there one? There was one up this way, right? Oh, yeah. Couple, couple over here. I mean, why not? Why not? Yeah, I'm low on health, but I, I don't think there's any more baddies, are there? Well, Vasco, I think we did good, buddy. We didn't give away the kitty, and we eliminated some pirate scum. Yeah, I know we're over encumbered. Is there a storage uh, bin in the in the ship? Can we not scan this? Okay, well, let's see about how this fast travel thing works. Look for the map icon of your ship and press A over it. Return to the ship. Fast travel. 
Okay, Vasco was in the way. You're carrying too much and you can't fast travel. That's fine. We'll just walk. Can't believe I survived that impact. How's the video looking? Um, it looked kind of crappy when I was out here before. I've made some adjustments. Hopefully it looks better now. Yeah, I know. We're draining oxygen. I know. I know. We'll stop here. Scan this. Just completely overwhelm our uh, carrying capacity, our poor little legs. Okay, when we have the scanner up, if you look down there in the lower left, we have the current temperature, I'm assuming in Celsius, the current, I guess, oxygen percentage of the atmosphere here. 0.55 grav. Is that like 0.55 times Earth grav or, or what? Anyhow, helpful information. Return to the ship. I'm working on it. Don't want to run out of oxygen. What's that? Unknown. There's a something up there on the hill. Look at that. Another facility, maybe? Hi, trilobite. Scan. Scan. Hmm. That's so cute. Oh, there's another one. Scan. Temperament. Wary. I'm not gonna hurt you. Okay. Well, I think that uh those are the ones we just scanned, yeah. Is there another type of... No. Alright, so here's the ship. Do we need to check for those heat leeches? Where are they going to be? They're going to be in there, maybe? see any. Is it safe to stand here? Probably not. What about up there? It looks like a good place for a heat leech. Can't quite get up there. Heat leech. Well, those are like thrusters. I... Uh, up here, uh, that would be probably where they'd be, wouldn't it? You guys see anything? This pistol has that kind of display technology I was talking about. It just looks like it's painted on or written in ink or whatever. Is that a thing in real life? I feel like it might be. Things change so rapidly these days, I, I can't keep up. Look at all this. Hmm. Well, I mean, the ship looks fine. It doesn't look any worse for wear. I guess that's supposed to be happening. Well, I guess this is a pretty good place, actually, to wrap it up for now. I really appreciate you joining me here in the roost today to play... Starfield, the newest Bethesda game. I'm really loving this. I think this game is beautiful. I think it runs well. I think it plays well. I love it. Absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about getting it, I say, hey, get it. I recommend this one. 
while uh, you are waiting for another, um, I almost said Fallout, for another Starfield video to come out, I have lots of other things going on on the channel right now. It's a very busy time. So be sure to check out the playlist section for some other games I'm working on right now, including Sea of Stars, Dave the Diver, and we're doing a Final Fantasy Marathon as well. So, I'd love to have you here at the Roost. Thanks again for watching today. Leave a like, drop a comment below letting me know what is going on. What's the best thing you've seen so far in this game? What do you like the most so far of everything you've seen in my playthrough? Just let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please do so already. Your support, whether it be subscriptions, comments, or likes, all those things go a long way toward giving me the confidence I need to keep making great content like this. And I really love having you here. And I, I'm, if you're listening this long, I really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I will see you tomorrow for another episode of Starfield. See you then. Bye-bye.